Hi everybody, it's Annette. Today I'm here with the results of the 30 day Chloe Teen Glute Bridge Challenge. So I will go ahead and put a screenshot of the workouts on the screen so you can see exactly what I was doing every day for the last 30 days. So my challenge ran from June 18th to July 18th and I was doing 100 glute bridges each day. The type of glute bridge changes each day. The first day is shoulder width apart glute bridges, narrow glute bridges, wide glute bridges, frog pumps, single leg, elevated glute bridges, and weighted glute bridges. So once you've done seven days of exercises, you just cycle through the workouts and start over again. So I did go through it quite a few times and I ended on wide glute bridges, yesterday. I was able to do the exercises every day. I would do my regular workout and then I would do the glute bridges after my workout. All the progress pictures I took are from the end of my workouts, at the end of my workouts. I only missed one day and that was July 17th. I was a little under the weather that day, but I did do 200 glute bridges the next day, which was the final day to make up for it. So, um, I also did these while I was on my period, which was really hard because some days I couldn't exercise, but I did at least do the glute bridges. So now I will insert some clips of me talking about doing the glute bridges, the ones I liked and ones I didn't like throughout the month. Okay, so it is June 25th and I'm starting my second week of the glute bridges today. Um, it was going pretty good until I got to day five, which is single leg. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. It took me such a long time to do them. Um, but that was really the only one that I had any issues with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on day one again and I'll check back in probably next week. It's uh, fresh from the oven. All you need is a few dollars for the ingredients. And a little bit of time to make the dough. Okay, so in my third week, and today I have to do elevated glute bridges. But I came here to talk about yesterday <laughs> because I couldn't talk about yesterday at the time when it happened. So I was really sore yesterday from my workout the day before. So yesterday was single leg. I could not do them. So I just did regular. But back on it today. I'm back today. So I'm gonna stick back to the program today. And that's it. To be transparent, I do want to say that I did lose weight throughout this process. So looking back at um, where I keep track of my weight, it looks like I was around 249 pounds on June 15th, which is the closest date I could find to June 18th when I started this challenge. And I was, um, I'm currently around 243 pounds. So I did lose weight during this time because I am working on losing weight. And I did exercise pretty much every day during this time. Um, and I also was continuing to do my intermittent fasting during this time. So my measurements did change throughout the month. I um, measured my hip area and my waist just for comparison. So on the first day, my waist was 39 inches and on the first day, my hip was 47 inches. And on day 30, my waist was 36 and a half inches and my hip was 46 inches. So I will insert um, the picture here of my progress each week. I took pictures after my workout on um, every day that my workout cycled back over into a new week. So um, the first day, of each week I took the better picture. So the pictures, um, 
I have a hard time seeing the change in the pictures, but I know it's there, so that's why the lines are there, so you can see, so you can see the distance between the line and the actual glue area. So that does change. I do think it, it looks different, um, but it didn't, it, it's not a big difference. I think my butt's just maybe higher now. I was surprised to see progress because I just have, I just have a flat butt. I just do, it's nothing that I seem to be, I don't have a genetically large behind. So putting in this much effort to see progress is surprising to me because so far I've never been able to do anything about it. So that's good. That means that I can do something about it and I will continue to do something about it. Um, I probably won't do all of these exercises in the future because some of them are just too painful and I'm just maybe not strong enough in my lower body to do them, especially the single leg. I, I can't do that. Um, and I don't think it's actually helping me if I can't do the exercise correctly. So going forward, I will incorporate more glute exercises into my routine just so I can see where my I can go from here. And I know the combination of getting my waist smaller but growing my glutes is going to give me the body shape that I want to have. So I'm going in the right direction with that. Um, progress is just really, really slow. And I know this is only a month's progress. Overall, it was a good challenge. I didn't have any issues really completing it. It wasn't too, too hard. There were some parts that were kind of difficult, but I was able to pretty much do it and I did see results. So I do recommend it, um, but I'm probably not gonna do 30 days of 100 glute bridges again, but I will continue to do glute exercises because apparently my butt can grow. I just have been doing it wrong. So thank you so much for watching and let me know if you try to. Bye.